hi guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to be showing you how to achieve this really pretty and easy fall slash festive makeup look first things first i did my brows off camera just to save some time and then now i'm priming my lids with some concealer this is zikil in creamy ivory you guys i just realized that i don't tell you to subscribe in my videos so i decided to start putting that on the screen so that in case i don't remember to say it you guys will see it and hopefully subscribe and also i don't plug my instagram so i'm going to start doing that as well please check me out on instagram let's be friends and all of that for the eyeshadow today i'm using my untamed palette from sigma beauty i told you guys in my previous video that i was going to use it to create another fall look but yeah, I'm just patting this in with the E55 eyeshading brush and now I'm going to blend out that color with the shade Boho from the palette and I'm using the E40 tapered blending brush and I'm literally just blending. It blends really seamlessly together. The only thing I would say is that this color or this shade rather, it blends, it shows up darker than it looks in the palette but I wasn't mad at that. So yeah, I just kept blending until I was satisfied with how the color looked. And now I'm going in with the shade Envy from the palette and applying that with the E30 brush. This is the pencil brush but wow, the shade was so beautiful you guys and so pigmented. Like I was really really impressed and I'm showing you the lashes I used and the lash glue but I didn't end up sticking my lashes now for primer I'm using this one from fairy gold I was really just trying to switch up my products because I've been using the exact same thing in my videos so yeah I'm using this primer and I'm just blending this into my skin with my hand and taking my time and then I'm going in my Zikil foundation in the shade Mocha. I'm just applying that to my skin and then blending this out with my Pract K angled foundation brush. Are you team brush or team beauty blender, beauty sponge? Personally, <laughs> I use both. It just depends on, I don't know, it just depends on the kind of coverage I want or the kind of finish I want but yeah I'm just using my brush and it was doing the it was getting the job done look at that finish you guys just look at that and now I'm going in with my blossom spotless concealer and just applying that to everywhere that I want some brightness and some more coverage on this day i was in the mood for using brushes and it did what it was supposed to do my makeup ended up looking so flawless you guys will see but yeah i'm filming this voice over by 2 a.m so if i sound a little bit i don't know that's that's the reason because it's 2 a.m so yeah i'm just blending this into my skin actually taking my time to blend that's why i tried as much as possible to not fast forward these clips too much or to not like cut it off so you guys can actually see and appreciate the blending process because it is a process <laughs> Thank you. 
and now I'm going in with some cream contour this is black opal in the shade carob and I'm just applying that everywhere that I want some warmth and to bring some dimension to I messed up my nose contour and <laughs> that's why I made that face And I'm just blending this in with the same brush I used to blend out my foundation. So this part is optional but I wanted some more brightness underneath my eyes so I went in with that semi concealer that I used to prime my eyes. I went in with my face powder on a powder puff and just set my face this gives like the most flawless finish if you know you know if you don't tried it i suggest you give it a try but yeah i baked my face with my black opal setting powder and now i'm just going to be setting my bronzer and i'm going in with the f40 it's the large angled contour brush from sigma and my beyond beauty bronzer and i'm just tapping that slightly i'm blending this upwards as you can see but yeah i'm just taking my time to blend because i just want a very seamless flush of color and so in the spirit of switching things up with my products i went with my pixie blush and i just apply that to my cheeks using the f30 large powder brush but this shade it wasn't just doing it for me with this eye look i wanted something warmer and i didn't want to use my same black opal blush that i've been using so i went in with the shade feral from the palette which is literally like the same shade as my black opal blush but yeah I just blended that onto my cheeks and yeah it was it gave what it was supposed to give I loved how it looked with the eye don't mind me I was listening to some music while I was doing this but yeah I went in with the same shades that I used on my lid and then I lined my waterline with some black liner and now I'm dusting off the powder or the bake rather and then I just realized that there were no fallouts, like nothing at all. That's what I wanted to show you guys. But yeah, that's nice. If that's like what you care about. But I already showed you guys the lashes that I used towards the beginning. So I just applied them right now. And now I'm applying some mascara. This is the Maybelline Colossal Voluminous Mascara. And now I'm going in with my Sigma Glow Kissed Highlight Palette and using the shade Golden R and Flare and applying that to my cheeks. Like, do you guys see? I don't even have to talk too much about this. Like, you can actually see it for yourself. It's so beautiful. It's made me start liking highlights on my cheeks again. But yeah, I went back in with that same shade Feral from the eyeshadow palette and applied some to my nose. now i'm going in with my lipstick i lined my lips off camera and then i'm going in with some gloss this is color realm in this shade brownie it usually smells like brownies 
I applied that and then I applied some concealer because I just wanted it to be a little bit warmer than it looked and it was just right. So you guys this is the finished look i really hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something from it please give me a like and leave a comment down below letting me know what you think of this video and until next time you guys i'll see you in my next video bye